Uh, another question, following on a lot of uh, questions, similar questions from readers about the Me Too movement. Uh, this is a reader named Sabrina S. She wants to know how the Prime Minister reconciles his past groping experience with his self-branding and bragging as a feminist. Should or would one cancel out the other, or can the two coexist? In I think. I think first of all, we have to understand that there is a massive shift going on uh, in our society, in our workplaces, and important conversations that are really, really long overdue. Uh, understanding that. Uh, someone can experience an interaction very differently from another person and giving weight and credence and support to anyone who comes forward to share those stories uh, and those experiences is extremely important. And how we listen and how we learn and how we grow as a society is absolutely essential. So I'm, I'm, you know, I will always, uh, as I did, make space uh, for, for people to come forward uh, and, and not seek to shut them down or contradict them, uh, but to support them. And it's, it's difficult, uh, but there's a lot of difficult conversations we have to have. And if, if, if you know, leaders can be part of modeling the path forward of being thoughtful and supportive, uh, then, then all the better for it. One of your other MPs can't hear what uh, was kicked out of cabinet over a series of allegations. Uh, and then this, uh, earlier this summer, you were campaigning for him in his writing. Mm -hmm. How do you arbitrate between these? I mean, well, I, mean, I think, first of all, it's, it's obvious that, you know, when I became leader of the Liberal Party, I didn't get a, a, a book of instructions handed down by Wilfrid Laurier on how to deal with these situations. They, these, are, these are new situations that we have to go at on a case-by-case -case basis, in a, in a thoughtful way, uh, in a way that uh, really um, tries to adjust to uh, the fact that people have been marginalized and taken advantage of and not heard uh, for, a, for far too long. And we are now uh, giving voice to those. So we are trying to deal with them each as they come up in the most thoughtful way possible. 